what? We should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over a cold catastrophe. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the trackers still count him down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock and a hard place? That is what I said. Hella knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? You mean solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. I thought paying our fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Novacore has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Novacore if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacore officers. And those robed priests, it was all... Very disturbing. I can do that, yeah. Why the flock not? You should be nicer when asking for things. Let's move on to something else already. Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Come on, Rocket! What? You gonna tell me I'm a valued member of your crew again? Leave us alone, Quill! Uh, Rocket? Flark off, Quill! Come on, guys! I am Groot. Groot says, go away! I can't believe Quill's such a bootlicker. What's with his obsession with bending over for Novacore? Respect them? Please. All the blue flacknards know how to do is arrest people trying to make a living and slap them with scut bugging fines. So those coordinates. They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere here we come.
nowhere. A spaceport on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wondered what kind of person found it was like, Oh look! The severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare. Very valuable. The marketplace came after. Along with the noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Novacore all the time. Trust me. He's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! A rocket and Groot. Did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. Guess you were right. Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. You think Cosmo will actually believe us? Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. I can't wait to see the rift. Have you had dealings with this Cosmo murderess? What about Rocky and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. Where do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Hey there! I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Should be. You know the way? It's straight through the market. You can't miss it. Good to see Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope, we met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave, and it befits them. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right, heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Maybe Cosmo will have a fetch quest for us or something. Keep an eye on your things. These kooks are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. They have fortune tellers on Earth, Peter Quill. Matt Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. He's gone, Drax. His death helped end the war. You are his adopted daughter. Did you believe that? I didn't. 
Maxis, what are you? Do you still have those suicidal urges? What? No. Huh. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you? Hi. Sun Lord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Star Lord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do a thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi, I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh, oh you fool. No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. Where the good heart is wrote. The broken promise of all will be mended. You okay? Oh, hey, Gamora! You look less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah, uh, fuck. Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be, or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. We're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy, green mini. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay, you are being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. That insect woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss her. Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does, anyway. <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. What the heck was that? Drax! Watch it, Star-Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Uh... Gamora? Gamora? <sighs> Guess I'll go talk to Cosmo alone. Me. I'm just looking for my lost ticket. Don't suppose you could help me? 
I'll make it worth your while. Nice try, but I'm not falling for that. Not again, anyway. Ah, oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. You, lucky traveler, have arrived at the illustrious Emporium. Private collection of Tanalir Tivan. The premier, premier, premier exhibit of wonders in the galaxy. Welcome to the Most would hoard these treasures, but not Mr. Tivan. He is so, so, so generous. He wishes to share them with the common people. Would you, you, you like to commemorate your visit with a unique souvenir? No, thanks. I've seen enough strange things over the last few cycles. Oh, you have, have you? Well, then, have yourself a fine, fine, fine day. Commemorate your visit with a unique souvenir. What is this place? You have stumbled into the wonderful Emporium's gift shop. Would you like to purchase a souvenir? We have some very unique items. Maybe. What kind of things do you sell? Replicas of very rare items. Figures and effigies from lost civilizations. Objets d'art, in other words. Figures? Like dolls? There's a member of my crew, a woman, who might like that kind of thing. A boorish person might call them dolls. But that is neither here nor there. Tell me more about this person. She, uh, also likes swords. Oh, not what does she like. What is she like? Oh, distant and tough. But I think maybe there might be some squishy bits in her somewhere. Ah, oh, I believe I have the perfect item. What do you think? Would you like to make a purchase? Just the right kind of creepy. She should love it. A magnificent choice. I presume you will forgo the pff, silk gift wrap. Yeah, this is fine as is. Very well. Enjoy your purchase. Good day. Looks like you've got a lot of parts here. Just about everything. <laughs> Mostly. Refurbished, of course. Hard to get new equipment since the war. Well... You looking for something particular? I wonder if you have something I could use to remove, uh... Nova Core Disabler. 7, 8, 12 series. 2G2, maybe? Ah, nope. That one's decommissioned. I know. I got something that should work no matter what. <laughs> and you're sure this will remove the disabler? It'll do exactly what it's supposed to. That's great. Thanks.
What's wrong, honey? You look terrible. This is a place to forget your troubles. Got one thing left to do, and then I plan on doing some serious forgetting. You, barely skin and bones, moping your way through the market. Better have a hot bite, it'll make you feel better. So, you hungry or what? I could eat. What's on the menu? Got choga dogs, noodles, kebabs, and foam pies. What'll it be? Keep hearing about the noodles. Might as well try them. Might be a little spicy for a Terran. You sure? I can eat anything. It's your stomach. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh. 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 Ah! Feels like something bit me. Oh, that hit the spot. Glad you liked it. Did you want something else? Foom pie. Like Fin Fang Foom? It's not what you think. They're baked goods with fruit inside, but we can't call them that. Well, makes sense to me. I'll take one. We had green food coloring, mm. and the kids gobbled them up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. What are these feelings? Oh. Oh, that hit the spot. Glad you liked it. Did you want something else? That's it for me. Thanks. Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Go other way. Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there, Star Lord. In Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose.
Cosmo! You in here? Cosmo! Sure, not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay, just gotta find Cosmo. Then I can deal with the team, if I can find them. Peter, there's something out there. But I won't tell you what it is. Because I think being distant makes me mysterious. Who's there? Oh, I hate mazes. Especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude. Deep breath. Deep breath. Look at you, Flarkin Humey. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. Flark! I'm giving myself a heart attack. Got here. Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy scut stain Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heart nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, uh, lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die. Wait, the lady ain't wanted him alive? Dead. <laughs> uh, uh, lady H, whatever Lady Hellbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice. You don't cross Lady H. Uh, uh, triple. Uh, oh, I'll triple it. He's dead now, Rawson. Get crushed, Terran! You want more, Terran? Don't we know each other? That one job on Traxia, maybe. Uh, Lady H told us how much you babble. Gonna snap him in two. You dropped your inside, Terran. Get crushed, Terran. Look, guys, this is a big misunderstanding. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. 
<sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched ha! here. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, shoot now! We need to keep them separated! Draw them apart before shooting, Peter! Careful! Get back in there, Tiger! I can always tell on you, come on! Get ready for the big one! Plenty smart! Now this is almost a fair fight! Your unit carrying guns won't hurt us! I oh. thought you'd never ask! Kill! Feel free to stay That's going to be the mark! Pathetic! <laughs> Too strong. I don't like teamwork when it's on the other side! It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. 
before your father returned to space. Ugh, Mom. I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but something has changed. And now more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What do you mean, important? He was king. Of an entire world. Called Spartax. Far, far away. And he was a great leader. And the way you look after people, Peter, I know you're going to be just like him. But leading is never easy. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really want to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're going to have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sick. <sighs> oh, shit. Please, no! <laughs> 